quick setup for the uh, Philips Respironics Trilogy ventilator. We'll show you the, the circuit tubing that we'll use for that. You have two types of single limb circuit. You have a Philips Respironics um, tubing. This is how it will come in the packet with a bacterial filter on one end, not HME. Um, and you'll have actually two lines. The smaller line is for oxygen entrainment and is not required, so you can just pull it off, cap the end, and you won't need an extra bacterial filter, so that can come off as well. So on your actual circuit, you have an expiratory port, mm -hmm. which is where the patient will breathe out of, so don't ever occlude this. This will be your patient end, and this end will go to the machine. So on the patient end, you'll need an end tidal CO2 device, and a HME, and then your patient interface. The second tubing, that you might find is intersurgical tubing. That's how it will be in the packet. This is the expiratory um, port on this one, and there's nothing to actually throw away. So this is the end to the patient, and that will be the end to the ventilator. So the same as you did with your Trilogy tubing, you put your end tidal and your HME on that end, and that will go onto the ventilator. On the back of your Trilogy machine, here you will see the connector to the oxygen port, same as a normal ventilator. This is the port where you will attach your circuit tube in here, and you have a power cable, and that will go to your patient. There are two ways to turn on a Trilogy. If you're going to set it up and you don't want it to actually start blowing, if you hold the down button and the alarm button for a few seconds, this is your setup mode. It won't alarm and it will give you some time to be able to actually do your settings. So when you're ready to set the machine up, you just use your direction buttons up and down, onto settings and alarms and select. This then gives you uh, lots of options to set here. So a dual prescription would be for patients that had a different prescription at night time during the day for non-invasive. We won't be using that at all. So that will always stay off. The mode to choose, we're going to choose pressure control SIMV. If you wanted to modify that, just press the button here that says modify and then you can scroll through the other ones. So when we're happy with what we've chosen, press OK and it will move down to the next one. The circuit type we always use is passive, which is on there. Set your inspiratory pressure. So to change that, press modify. Scroll up, scroll down when you're happy. Press OK. That would be for your mandatory breaths. Peep. To modify that, scroll up and down. Press OK. And then for your assisted breaths, you want to set a pressure support. So this would be on top of your peep. So if we've set ourselves an inspiratory pressure of 20, a PEEP of 6, the difference there would be 14. So I would set my pressure support at 14 to achieve the same for every breath. As you scroll down, you've got a breath rate, an inspiratory time. FiO2 would be done through the machine. A trigger type would always be auto track. A rise time. Always set it at three, which is in the middle. So you can go down from one up to six, but if you leave it just as three, that's the average. We don't nebulize through the circuit, so that's off. And then you have your alarms. So a circuit dis disconnection alarm is quite important. You can turn it up for how many seconds. So it will be 15 seconds before it will, it will tell you if it's disconnected, and that will be whether the tube comes off. We'll set a low minute ventilation alarm as well. So set that for whatever you need. We'll set it for, say, three. And that's your alarm set. When you're happy with your setup, press finish. And it will ask you if you want to activate um, this mode. If you press yes. And then...
press power off, yes. And then when you turn the machine back on again, press the button here and it will start the actual ventilation. And then this is the screen that you will see all the time the patient's on it. You can take your readings from here. If you then want to change anything within the menu, you don't have to stop it. So tidal volume would be VTE. Ah, uh -uh, thank you. Respiratory rate, mm -hmm. peak in respiratory pressure, mm -hmm. minute ventilation, mm -hmm. and a leak. The machine likes a leak um, of about 30. So between zero and 50, but the minimum is about, yeah, middle is about 30. So because it's shown me an alarm, I can reset that and it will take me back to the same screen. To access the menu, just press up and then I can scroll down into the settings. So say if I want to change my peep, I'll go down to peep, press modify and I can go up to seven, press okay, finish, exit and it will take me back again. That's obviously the alarm button, reset that. If I want to give 100% of oxygen, I just press that button and it will ask me if I want to do that. Press yes, and I'm giving 100%. To turn the machine off, just press the button there and it will ask you to say yes.